Here are some rules for having guy friends. First and foremost, you have to decide, are you actually friends with this guy? Because here's the thing, males and females are hardwired biologically to hook up. That's how our species survives. Like, you know, we're not programmed just like bro out and like watch Steve Austin's Broken Skull Challenge together. Like, that's not what we're programmed to do. We're programmed to do other things. So I want you to really evaluate why are you friends with a guy? And it could be something as simple as like, you just like him. Also, when you're young, the benefit of having like opposite sex friends is that you learn about the opposite sex and you get comfortable being around them in sort of a safe, consequence-free environment. But is it consequence-free? No, it is not. Because a lot, I mean, 99% of the questions I get from you guys are either I'm in love with my guy friend slash my guy friend is in love with me. So today we're going to talk about how to keep the guy friends from falling in love with you. And girls, I know, I mean, when you as hot as us, this is an unfortunate downside to being like super charming and attractive. I get it. Here's how to keep a guy in, safely in the friend zone. Number one, talk about other dudes. Don't for a second give him like the in to thinking that you are only focused on him. You talk about other guys, you talk about your love life, you talk about your dates, you talk about who your crushes are. Also, don't flirt with him when you need an ego boost. Again, so many of the questions I get from you guys really can be boiled down to like, a guy's just flirting with you because like he's between heartbeats and he's between arms, he's between relationships and he wants someone to be nice to him and he's going to a place where he knows he can get that, which is you. And that's ugly and it's terrible to say, but it's true girls. So don't do that to someone else because we know how sucky it is when a guy's just like kind of using you for an ego boost. Don't do that to him. If you're sad, go somewhere else. Like there's the internet, just post a fire selfie, get your likes, get your self-esteem from that. Also, keep him in your top 10, not in your top five. Because when a guy is in your top five of friends, as I call them, like you hang out all the time, you text him every day, like you guys see each other, or you call each other, you are asking for trouble. This is how like the lines get crossed and people think that your intentions are different. And on both sides, like if you have someone who's doing that to you, you're gonna be like, well, of course he likes me, he talks to me all the time. Like how, how does he not have those feelings? So keep him to someone that you see occasionally, no more than like, I would say one one-on-one -on -one hangout every two weeks, like literally at the most, not someone you text all the time. He's not your go-to for advice or to talk about your day. Okay. Um, also encourage his crushes. If he talks about another girl, great. Hey, I'm going to set you up. I'm going to do your hair for your day. I'm going to tell you guys where to go. Again, let it be known that you were on team him hooking up with someone else because you don't want him to get the idea that maybe you're waiting around for him. And my last bit of advice is don't have guy friends at all. Don't do it. Eventually on one side or the other, when you have a male and female friendship, someone is going to catch feelings. That's just how it goes. Again, that is how we are hardwired. Don't try to fight nature. Don't try to fight biology, God, universe, mother nature, whatever you want to call it. It is a force bigger than you, bigger than him, bigger than whatever it is you're trying to engineer. If you need that male attention, I get it. Go get it from someone who's maybe going to hook up with you. Chasing a guy friend and having a guy friend is a dead end for so many reasons. First and foremost, because if you go out with him, like if you're hanging out, no other guy is ever going to come and talk to you. It's the law of the jungle. Like this dude is like basically peed a circle around you. I mean, he, hopefully not literally, you know what I mean. But he has like set his claim to you. No other guys are going to come up and challenge that. Or like you're just going to go out and I don't know, guys, it's, it's such a mess. Females are for friends. Guys are for dating. Your life is going to be so much simpler and so much less dramatic and full of conflict and mismessages if you obey me on this. You know I'm always right. And then I'm I'm pretty. Well, maybe not pretty, but I'm always right. <laughs> For more, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at ShallonXO. And if you have a love question of your own, please leave it here in the comment sections or as a private message here on YouTube. I don't do DMs on Instagram because I write back a lot of words and it's too hard to do with my thumbs. Also subscribe to me for weekly videos on love, sex, dating, friends, and all the rest.